In what state did the Boston Tea Party take place? I'm going to guess, and I'm not going to ask for a lifeline, but I'm going to say, um, you said city? Which state did the Boston Tea Party take place? Oh, Boston. (laughs) Maryland. (laughs) Massachusetts. Okay. That would be in the area of New England, Massachusetts, home of John Adams and Abigail Adams. All right. That's, that's correct. Correct. Mr. Osborne, let's get Mr. Osborne on this. Where did the Boston Tea Party take place in what state? Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts. Can you name the last four letters of the alphabet? T-U-V, V-W-X-Y-Z. V-W-X-Y-Z. The last four letters of the alphabet, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. X-Y-Z? Wait. S T U V A A B C D E F G H I J K L M O P. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. A B C D E F G H I J K L M O P. V W X Y Z. U X Y Z. All right. Sounds good. Wait. Can I take that back? V X Y Z. Is this a trick one? What does RAM stand for? Robert A. Milliken High School. Better got that one right. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Robert A. Milliken, go Ram! It's um, Robert A. Milliken in the A. I do not know you the A. You don't have to worry about the A. I don't know the Nobody A. knows the A. Yeah. The Real American Men Club. Is that what you're talking about? Or I'll take that as an answer. You like that? Or Robert A. Milliken. There you go, there you go. Both acceptable answers. It's a male... Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> as in Millican Ram. As in Ram. Like our school is, why are we called Rams? What does Ram stand for? It's a male sheep. <laughs> right, it's, it's, a, it's a male sheep. Oh. Strength and courage and. What she said. The, the mascot? No, R A M. What does R A M and Ram stand for? I don't know. Okay, you're new. Thank you. All right, next question. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the tallest mountain? Oh. Oh, it's not the tallest mountain. Wait, what? (laughs) (laughs) I have no clue. Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro? Mount Kilimanjaro? (laughs) Mount Everest. That's right. There you go. Hey. Mount Everest. Mount Everest. He's good. Better get this one right. If you're in a car that gets 17 miles per gallon and you're traveling 75 miles per hour, how long will it take you to go 75 miles? One hour. One hour? (laughs) One hour. It's going to take you an hour. Yeah. I got that one. You did. I don't think you'll get there. Is that right? You would do math to figure that out. It's a great answer. Don't ask me these math questions. I'm a drama teacher. I refuse to answer that one. You know what? I don't drive. I have no clue. <laughs> How do you get around? I Uber. Thank you. <laughs> Does England have a 4th of July? 4th of July happens everywhere, but it's not Independence Day. No. Wait, yes, yeah. Yeah, yes, they do. No. Oh, okay. wait, yes, they do. Duh, <laughs> they do have a 4th of oh, July. Oh, no. Well, I mean, yes, they have a 4th of July. They don't have an Independence Day that they celebrate as we do. So, yes, they would have a 4th of July. Right, Everybody has a 4th of July if they're on the same calendar. You almost got me there. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> right. No. Uh, excuse me, yes, they have a 4th of July, but they don't celebrate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, not their kind of, not yeah. our 4th of July. They have a 4th they, of July, they just don't have an independence it's, day that we call it. Yeah, that would be like celebrating the fact that they got their... Absolutely not, because that was our day of independence. Booyah. <laughs> Bonus question, what is after the 3rd of July? After the, it's the, after the 3rd, it's the 4th of July. <laughs> okay, just making sure. Are you American? <laughs> no. What's after the 3rd of July? The 4th of July. Thank you. 
All right, last question. Can you say silk? Can I say silk? Yes. Silk? Is this a trick question? No. Can you say silk for me? Is this not a teenage something <laughs> like I just figured out what ratchet was and that's <laughs> it's not to be said either? Will you say silk? Silk. No. Can you say silk for me? <laughs> Can you say it two times fast? Silk, silk. Four times fast. Silk, 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 silk. Silk, silk, silk. Silk, silk, silk. Silk, 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 silk. Silk, 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 silk. What do cows drink? Milk. <coughs> Milk. Can you say that to the camera? Milk. <coughs> Milk. That's Milk. it. <laughs> Milk. They drink their own milk. See, I'm stupid. <laughs> they drink water. Water. You're good. You're good. Water. He's good. Boom. He's good. They drink like water and things like that, not milk. They make mm -hmm. milk. Is it the silk milk? Is soy milk? Are we talking about the soy milk silk? No, just what cows drink. They they don't drink. They don't drink milk because that's the wrong. Well, the baby cows do. The calves do. So the, so the answer would be it's a trick question, actually. If you're an adult cow, I guess you would not drink your own milk. But if you're a baby calf, you would drink the milk because that's for nourishment. And that's why humans should not be drinking milk because... Where our, body, our bodies do not digest it properly, and that's why some of us are lactose intolerant. Booyah. True.